recent college graduates listen up, and for parents of recent college graduates, <laughs> listen up too. We're uh, too often, uh, you just get thrown into adulthood without much preparation. Their degree qualifies them for a career. But what about those everyday necessities of adult life? Usually not prepared for that. Uh, Michael Mazarant is here from the Retirement uh, Education Foundation. Michael, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me again. We're glad you're here, Michael. And speaking as the mom of a both a recent college grad who's now working in the workforce and one who is going to be hopefully working soon. <laughs> um, it is true. How do you how much do you inundate these kids with financial lessons? And I know we're supposed to be doing it all along, but once they have to start paying for their own Lives. stuff, their whole life. <laughs> It's real overwhelming. So it is for them because it's tough. So I don't think we do the best job in high schools or in colleges preparing kids for these kinds of things. We're trying to teach them math and English and prepare them for careers, which is all great stuff. And then they get their first job and they don't quite understand how taxes work. They don't quite understand health insurance. They don't quite understand the 401k. And they might ask friends or parents or maybe coworkers, but they're kind of getting half the story from a lot of different places, a lot, a lot of different opinions. And so it's really important for them to start to figure out, okay, what choices am I making today to put me on a better path for the next two years, five years, 10 years, 30 years, because every choice makes a difference. And a lot of mistakes they make as well. Um, and a big part of that is living on borrowed money, which is credit cards, right? So borrowed money is a big one. And really, so they get the first couple of paychecks and now they feel like they're rolling. Loaded. Because they, they, they went from their internship that maybe was unpaid to now they're getting their first career yeah. job and they feel like they're making a lot of money and they're they're trying to keep up with the Joneses, their friends are on social media, traveling and posting. How big car. of a problem is that part specifically? It's huge. Social, I mean, social media is really challenging because every person feels that pressure. Well, my friends are doing this. I want to do that. Well, I see it myself. I'm like, is she at Coachella? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are these kids doing? Yes. It's really challenging. And yeah. so, I mean, people really need to understand when you see friends, family, other people doing stuff like that, it isn't always as great as it might appear. Maybe they're at a great concert, they're taking a fantastic vacation. But they could or be maybe funny they that saved a year to do that. Maybe or they whatever. did, or maybe they threw it all on a credit card, and they're now in a lot of trouble for the next five yeah, years. Well, and so try not to fall for that social media, keeping up with the Joneses, and also the credit card debt really can be a problem. Don't let that start to slip away from you early. Spending without a plan, too, is a, is a big part. People spend, you know, every year I get the, the reports from my credit cards of here's your spending categories and I get blown away by, it's always, every year it's eating out. Eating out is always uh -huh. one that knocks me off my chair. Yeah. But I mentioned, you mentioned this morning in terms of when you're shopping and you mm -hmm. go through your closet and you see that shirt you spent 80 bucks on yep. a year ago. It's one of those things where if we recognize, wait a minute, I have a tendency to overspend on dining out, on clothes, on whatever it is. Let's start to put some parameters in place of, okay, I'm not going to just willy-nilly go buy the shirt or go, I'm going to challenge myself, let's, let's cook five times a week instead of three times a week mm. and try to cut down on the spending. So for the basic instructions for these kids who are just graduating from college, it's um, have some kind of plan and understand the, the importance of saving mm -hmm. and investing, but also having fun and managing all that, which... That's tough to do. It is tough. It's tough to balance. And really, so once you have an, a sense of what is your take-home pay after the taxes, after the health insurance, after the 401k savings, what is your take-home pay? And make sure we're dividing, uh, dividing that up properly. Because once you have all those things taken care of, then go spend on the things you enjoy as long as we're doing it properly. Great stuff. Uh, have you back next hour. Sounds good. Continue this conversation and much more with Michael. Yeah, how to teach kids about investing properly. If school isn't going to teach you kids this, we are going to try, okay? <laughs> We're learning ourselves. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Of course.